Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. We are going to do the third beer in this week's four from one from Cloudwater and the Vale, and this is Troubles. Here it is. This is the job. <coughs> um, this is 10% ABV. So, so there, there it is. Um, Canned on the 19th of April 24, best before the 19th of August 24, and freshest by, sorry, freshest by the 19th of August 24, and best before the 19th of October 24. It says that on the bottom there. Got these beers, these four beers out of the Tremble and Madness um, the website. Um, this will be the, probably the third time, third or fourth time I've had Troubles. Um, I quite like this. This, I love this. Actually, I love this label. It just reminds me of good times. Um, jet black beer, jet black beer, Stupid. jet black label, dark label, galaxies and stars and whatnot. Um, we've got the. I think it's a satellite. We've got the troubles, troubles, the veil satellite on the bottom there. And then with the logos there, and I'm assuming. That in binary is either Troubles or Cloudwater or the Veil or Cloudwater Veil Troubles in binary across the front there. Um, the first two that I did, the Troubles 53 Degrees North and Forever Troubles were really good. That Forever Troubles I did yesterday was stunningly good. Really, really good. Um, as I said at the time, what well, probably one of them best beers I've had and it's certainly a player for beer of the year so hopefully this is going to be something a little bit special um, and we just rattle through the can off but again we've got this new rebrand from Cloudwater with the silver line across the top with, with Cloudwater and whoever they are doing the collaboration with anyway um, let's get into a glass let's see what we've got this before we do this is probably one of the most hyped beers um, of the year. You've got you have your, your verdant um, putties and oh sorry, put -t 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 um, hype beer, and then there's these the verdant and the putty. I mean, it's consistently good. The ones I've had, the <clears throat> are consistently outstanding, and the, for me. I like these more than I like putty and putter to tea. Anyway, let's pop a top see what we've got. Oh, I'm using my Asvex Teku because I like drinking triples out of a Teku. So this pours a lovely, hazy, light yellow, light orange colour. There we go. Not gonna pour too much here. There we go. Look at that beautiful thing. Absolutely beautiful. So we've got a two finger densely compact white head. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. Beer itself, it's got that hazy again, look at that. I mean that's the sort of fruit juice. Fruit juice looking. Um freshly squeezed orange juice, freshly squeezed tropical juice. It's got that, that that feel to it. It looks fabulous. Let's the nose. Let's see what we can smell. Give a bit of a smell. Oh, what? That is heady. It's heady with, with citrus and mango. Yeah, very heavy with citrus. Again, the zest, peel, pith. It's like the from the IPA to the Forever Troubles to this. It's like a gradient of aroma. And it's very similar. Yeah, there's a little bit of stone fruit in there as well. But it just gets it just gets more and more intense as the ABV goes up. As I get stuck into this. This is going to be 
brilliant, I know it is. Let's go for the potting carbonation. Cheers. Give me goosebumps, genuinely give me goosebumps. That is good, that is outstanding. Body, medium to heavy, carbonation, soft and light. The beer just squats on your palate, and then what carbonation there is just kind of just pushes it around, it sort of covers your mouth beautifully. That's excellent. Let's go with a big taste. Cheers. <coughs> oh, velvety smooth. It's got a light creaminess to it. <laughs> it's just delicious. Absolutely delicious. It's zesty. Again, orange, heady with orange. Big time citrus fruit. Zesty, pithy. A lot of peel in there. Your big oranges, satsumas, tangerines. Beautiful stuff. Loads of tropical fruit. Loads of mango in there. Certainly mango in there. It's got a dry, pithy finish. This is top quality Rolls Royce drinking. Absolutely stunningly good, it's gorgeous. Yeah, that is really, really good. It's excellent. Best thing I've drank this year. Certainly, best triple, a, triple IPA I've drank this year. This is the yardstick, everybody. This is the yardstick for all triple IPAs. Now, this is, I think, I'm going to go out on a limb here. This piece spark a bit of controversy, or oh, controversy. Um, I think this is better than putty with three T's. I think this has got more to it. I think this is lovely. You don't get any alcohol on this at all. There's no burn. It's all fruit. It's all juice. And I do think this is better. Not by much, because they're both equally as good in their own way. Or uh, this is fab. Right. Anyway. I am going to disappear off. I'm going to finish this off camera. So, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in. I'll put a link to the Cloud Water website where you can't buy this. I go off Shemel and Madness. So, do that if you like the video. Do that if you don't. Subscribe down there. And I will see you in the next one. Stay there, stay safe. Hey, Leo.